Hey folks, we're going to use this morning's top story as a jumping off point for one of the most basic premises of the ongoing magnetic pole shift, the geomagnetic excursion, and why you should care. The magnetic poles are shifting. The magnetic field that protects our planet is weakening. We are due for this cyclical event to happen again now. And one of the things we said to watch for was the disruption of magnetic navigation in the animal kingdom, with the express warning that the news would try to blame it on humans. Now is a good time to review the basic risk profile for those who are new to the channel. First, the direct radiation. As the magnetic excursion happens, the space energy penetrating down through the atmosphere rises. It's rising already. It has an impact on cellular processes, DNA, cancer profiles, and especially on the skin and the eyes. Sure, most people know the risk of excess radiation, but many don't know that that is on Earth's bingo card for the coming years as this magnetic excursion marches on. One of the key risks is to the climate. The extra radiation impacts the ozone layer, causing extra destruction, which leads to more ultraviolet input and therefore more energy down into the lower atmosphere. This is amplified by that radiation's impact to the global electric circuit. This was the entire point of yesterday's video on electric weather. Finally, most people don't know that even the most mainstream climate scientists do not deny the impact of this space radiation on oscillation patterns like ENSO, which is El Nino and La Nina, the North Atlantic Oscillation, and the Pacific Decadal Oscillation. This space radiation is part of what is coming in more and more as the magnetic field weakens. These all combine to bring about the major climate shifts, which we see with all of these cyclical events. There is also a profound cardiac impact. We have gone over this a lot in our daily shows and in our books, but if you are new to the topic, you can just combine search terms about the sun and cardiac issues and find hundreds of articles, and I mean hundreds. These apply not only to humans, but animals as well. And this is in addition to the direct radiation impact on cells and DNA. The last major impact to the food chain is through that magnetic navigation. It's not just birds, but many mammals, marine creatures, insects, even plants rely on the magnetic field for key life processes. Now, I've got lots of resources for you to learn more about any of this that piques your interest, but the point of this video, of course, is that the magnetic excursion, due again now and already happening, is worth your attention, along with everything else going wrong in the world today. The radiation, the climate impact, the biological impact, the navigational issues are all going to wreck the food chain as we get further into this event, and sadly for us humans, the magnetic field is the only thing keeping solar storms from destroying modern technology, so we are at an even higher risk than the rest of the animal kingdom. Below this video is a link to my article on exactly this from 2021. It is fully cited with scientific journal articles, and also below are links to the background videos on this topic. They will quickly bring you up to speed. The point, of course, is that this simple introductory video is meant only to show the broad range of environmental impacts and convince you this really matters. Either read that article or watch the background videos, and I will see you in the morning for the daily update. Be safe, everyone.